Good morning, Riverside and Delanco too. Please be sure to finish all the problems that uh, are on Khan Academy. Some of you I see uh, signed into Khan yesterday and maybe even watched the video but didn't do the problems. So you get no credit unless you do the problems that follow the, follow the video. Um, today we're gonna have a contest. In the accompanying video that you just watched, who lives in the tan house? The first to send the answer back to me on Google Classroom will win a free snack at lunch when we return to school. Okay, enjoy today's lesson. Okay, today we'll do, be doing um, addition of polynomials, adding polynomial expressions. And the first question is right here. So you want to write that down, and then I'm going to put it on the whiteboard and show you how to do it. Okay, so our first question is laid out horizontally. So we need to determine, in these two quantities, what are in like terms. Uh, this x squared, in, excuse me, this plus sign in the middle tells us that we're going to add this quantity to this quantity. So here we go. Now you know from yesterday's lesson and the one the day before what like terms look like. So let's put those together now. 3x squared plus x squared. We add the coefficients, 3 plus 1, and we get 4x squared. Then we find that we have uh, x's. So we put those together, negative 2x plus x, and we add those and we get negative x. And then the constant, negative 3, there isn't one, there isn't a constant in that first um, quantity, but there isn't a second one. So we put negative 3 at the end, and here is our answer. Now you're going to try one. Okay, so you're going to do this one the same way, horizontal, and look for the uh, like terms, and add. Stop the video and try it. Okay, so we have 5x to the third in the first quantity. I put these in quantities with a plus sign in between. And I add 5x to the third plus x to the third. And as you can see, I get 6x to the third. Um, negative 2x stands alone, so minus 2x. And then negative 6 plus 6 is 0. All right, let's view some video. of actually adding uh, polynomials is to sort of uh, add them vertically. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just going to write down this polynomial, 4a squared plus 3a plus 1, and then write this one underneath it, making sure that I'm putting like terms above other like terms. 5a squared plus 2a plus 3. You see how they're all lined up and I see that the a squareds are in the same column and the a's are in the same column? And so are the constants. So I can just add. If I have 4a squareds and add 5, I have 9a squareds plus 3a's plus 2a's or 5a's plus 1 plus 3 is just 4. So there's another way of adding polynomials is just to add them vertically. Let me show you another example, a little bit more dramatic. In fact, very dramatic. Look at the side. All right, so here's one for you to try. Now, it does say use the vertical format, but my preference is to... Um, to do these all the same way and that's horizontally. That would be up to you though. So you just watch the professor do one vertically. If you feel more comf comfortable or confident with that, go ahead. All right, give this a shot. Close the video down and I'm gonna show you the answer in a minute. You try it. Okay, so first we reformat the problem where it says and we're gonna put a plus sign in between these two quantities. Okay, then we look for like terms, negative x squared and six x squared go together. Then we don't really have anything that matches up with the negative x or with the negative 1, so they stand alone. And we see that negative x squared plus 6x squared is 5x squared, and then we just drop down the minus x 
and the minus one. Pretty simple, right? Okay, here's one more for you to try. And again, I'm gonna do it in the horizontal format. Now, you know what? I'll show you one in the vertical format, but again, you can use either method. So write this down, give it a shot, and then I'll show you the answer. Okay, so we rewrite this in vertical format. Uh, you can see that the Z to the thirds uh, match up one over top of the other. And the first equation, there really was no Z squared. So I put a zero in there as a placeholder. You don't really have to do that. I just figured we would put something in place there just so you can uh, realize that um, that's a possibility. Anyway, then the Z's one over top of the other and then the constant negative one. So the two seven Z's, negative and the positive, they're gonna cross out, so I put a line through them. All right, so negative Z to the third plus six Z to the third gives us 5z to the third. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. And then 0 minus 1, okay, gives us negative z squared. And then the negative 1 stands alone. So your answer is right here. So as I said, my preference is the um, horizontal uh, format. So I'm going to show you a quick video. It's a uh, about a minute or so. Uh, let you see one that way. I kind of already explained it to you. Then I'm going to go upstairs and send all this out um, for you to do along with some Khan Academy problems. And remember, there is a contest today. So make sure you watch the video and let me know if you know whose house that is. First one in, free snack at lunch. We can actually add polynomials together by simply taking two polynomials and combining the like terms. Let's take a look at an example. Let's take this polynomial, 8x squared minus 2x plus 3, and add it to the polynomial 9x minus 5. Well, what would we get? Well, we're going to now combine like terms. We're going to actually use the associative property to remember that these parentheses can be dropped, and I can add them sort of any way I want, and I can move the terms around by the commutative property. So I see no square terms except for the... 8x squared, so that takes care of that term, and I check them off. But I see I've got a um, negative 2x here and a 9x here, so they combine to give me a plus 7x. And then I've got the number 3 minus 5, which gives me a negative 2. So there is the sum of those two polynomials, just combining like terms. Let me add on this one book example. 2pq minus q and negative 2pq plus p. This is what he was explaining in the video. And we're going to put the things together that are in like terms and either add or subtract them. So you can see the 2pq minus 2pq makes them go away. And then minus q plus p leaves me with this answer. Just one more example.